Okay, recording for the second time. For some reason, my phone wasn't recording. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I have the infamous Burger King Impossible Whopper. Yes. By the time you're watching this, you'll be able to get the Impossible Whopper at your nearest Burger King. They're gonna be all over the US, every single Burger King store. And I just got the Whopper meal with some fries and a cherry Coke. And I ordered the Whopper with no mayo because I got my own mayo, the Hellman's brand. Can I just say though, this Whopper is huge. I guess I don't remember how big a Whopper was. I thought it was just a standard burger, but like very big, very big. So there's lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle. It's definitely the impossible burger. And I know that because it's very uniformed in size. Like it's like a perfect circle, you know? See what I mean? Ooh, my stomach is growing. So, I'm gonna put on some of that mayo. Yes, yes, yes. Mayo and... I have some spicy brown mustard. Now, growing up, even before I went vegan, I hated mustard. I didn't put mustard on anything besides like potato salad. I have some ketchup as well. Is there ketchup on it? Oh, I think there is, but there's no such thing as too much ketchup. Um, but I don't know. I just started experimenting once I went vegan, like different sauces and, you know, flavor combos and everything. And I've grown to really like mustard. So there's that. I kind of want to like wrap it like this. I'm gonna take a quick thumbnail and be right back. We're just gonna get into it. Cheers. I'm to take a picture. Wow, oh, it's so good. How crazy is it to be able to go through a Burger King drive-thru and order a Whopper? Just like a Whopper meal. And I've been craving Coke. I asked for a cherry Coke. This doesn't very t it doesn't taste cherry. <laughs> I'm gonna mix the mayo and ketchup for the fries. Insane. Mm. Hopefully this is a permanent thing. I know they tested this, I don't know where. They tested this at a store in, back in April and it was successful, so that's why they're at every location now. But I really hope it stays on the menu. I know the demand's gonna be like crazy. Mm. So, here in Florida, Brennan and I got two Whopper meals, you know, with the fries and drink, and it was like 16 bucks. So, is that average? I don't know how much a normal Whopper meal costs. For convenience purposes, you know. Oh god. Every time. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I love it. You know that flame grilled taste that Burger King burgers have? This has it. And while I will say the patty itself is not like, bow, bursting with flavor, like seasoning, it's definitely not bland by any means. 
but I feel like it could be a little bit more seasoned. Overall, I'm already gonna rate this burger 9.5 out of 10. Mm -hmm. mm. My my, have the times changed. Mm. This is called supply and demand. Burger King, as well as many other fast food restaurants, are seeing the rise of plant-based meats and vegan options and how, how much of a demand it is that they did the right thing by adding this to their menu. This is going to boost business a lot. Now, there's a controversy of this you know, Whopper, because people are saying that while the patty itself is plant-based, they do use the same broiler as they do with the rest of their burgers and stuff. Um, now you can ask for it to be cooked in the microwave or like in their oven. The way I see it is this is a big step in the right direction. And also if you're, you know, eating at restaurants and different places where they use the same fryer basket as you know the fries that you order because a lot of vegans if you go to restaurants you know sometimes your only options are a side of fries and a side salad Ugh. so if you're getting fries and they're using the same basket you know like what's really the difference um i still 100 percent consider this vegan to each their own you know one step in the right direction is still better than you know taking two steps backwards you know what i mean so, you know, let's not judge, let's not hate, just just order the Whopper and take it yourself. It's so damn good. I feel like I can order this for someone. I don't think they would be able to tell us. Vegan. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I didn't order two because I was going to order two burgers and fries and have that as a lunch. But hi, baby girl. But I didn't realize how huge these Whoppers were like, holy crap, where are they? Mm. Oh, also, <sighs> um, I was looking on Instagram today and I follow this page called Veg News. Subway is releasing a vegan meatball sub I should say a plant-based meatball sub on their menu this month, August. What? Like, what? Having this accessible, a meatball sub at Subway, tacos at Del Taco, Beyond Burgers at um, Carl Carl's Jr. Like, the times are changing and it is, incredible like i can't believe it it's past three years uh, have been so awesome for like the vegan community plant-based and i know there's gonna be people that aren't even vegan vegetarian plant-based that are gonna try this just for the pure curiosity of it don't be surprised i'm telling you I have this on a meatless monday i mean really little steps like if you have if you cannot meet one meal a week, that's still better than nothing, you know? Mm. It's so crazy that I'm eating this. It just doesn't seem real.
this isn't something that I would eat all the time, like fast food. But, like, if you're on a road trip or, I'm on my teeth. Or like an airport meal, you know, you're on the go and you still want to eat. I, having this as an option is so awesome. Um, but yeah, Subway is going to be releasing a plant-based meatball sub. So I think all you do is ask for no cheese and then get it on their Italian bread and it's vegan. What? Like, uh, wow. Pretty good. Nice bye. Mm. What are you doing, Mama? Okay. That was unreal. So good. I really have nothing bad to say. I mean, besides it could be seasoned a little bit more. I've had worse though. I've definitely had worse. Just having that as an option, like Burger King, you did good. You did real good. So yeah, I definitely recommend everybody try that. Just try it no matter what your diet preference is. I highly recommend it. It is super good. And yeah, I do want to say that uh, uh, uh. Oh, the soda is really giving out the burps today. Ooh. I do want to say that I am still having a giveaway right now. I'll be announcing the winner this Friday. Um, I'm giving out a giving away a $10 gift card. So it could be a Burger King gift card and you can get your very own Impossible Whopper meal and lunch will be on me. Enter the giveaway, go to my previous video of my cake mukbang and comment on that video what your favorite comedy movie is. And yeah, I'll be choosing a winner and if you are the winner, I'll be commenting under your comment telling you that you're the winner. So yeah, if you want lunch on me, then be sure to do that. Also, if you like this shirt, Anti-Animal Cru Anti -animal Cruelty Club, I have a link in my description box, 10% off. And uh, yeah, the lunch was awesome. Crazy. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. 10 out of 10, would recommend. Go get you a Whopper, try it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. Comment down below if you tried it. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are in this lovely world. And I will see you very soon. Bye.